Welcome back to a new vlog on the channel. I'm getting ready for my day. I just showered and as you guys saw, I worked out today, made my bed, had breakfast. I made a little egg white scramble. It was so delish. But I also just did my skincare routine. Now I'm going to brush my teeth and whiten my teeth, which I try to do a couple times a week. And that brings me to the sponsor of today's video, Luminex. So thank you very much for sponsoring this video. I'm very excited to show you guys these Luminex products that I've been using recently because I really don't talk about oral care a lot on my channel. I talk about like skincare, body care a lot um, and like makeup and all that, but I rarely talk about oral care, but it's such an important part of your hygiene. Luminex offers a full line of teeth whitening products that do not cause any harm, all while supporting your immune health and your oral microbiome. 98% of your oral bacteria is actually friendly and good bacteria. It's good for your overall health. 2% of that is bad bacteria. So other traditional oral care products kill 99.9% .9 of bacteria, but that's all good bacteria that your body needs. So Luminix neutralizes that bad bacteria while keeping the good bacteria alive. They use a blend of natural ingredients like coconut oil, dead sea salt, aloe vera, and essential oils. And this all helps to make your biome stronger, which helps protect against disease. So yeah, just so many good benefits. So I'll show you guys the products that I'm gonna be using today and what I've been using lately with like my teeth hygienic routine you can say first up we're gonna do the whitening strips so this helps to whiten your teeth without any sensitivity and I have very 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 sensitive teeth with past whitening strips that I've tried I would feel like a throbbing in my gums it's so uncomfortable it was like a stinging feeling but I don't feel that with this the one on the top the longest one is for your upper and then the one on the bottom is for your bottom teeth and then you just stick it on All right, so the strips are in. You leave these in for 30 minutes, take them out, and then I'll brush my teeth. And then you also can't eat and drink anything for 30 minutes after. So I will check back in with you guys in 30 minutes. Ah, okay, it's been 30 minutes. The next step is to brush my teeth and I'm going to be using the Luminex whitening toothpaste. I'm also going to be using a toothbrush from Luminex. As you can see, it's a bamboo toothbrush, all natural. And the last step of this whole process is to use the whitening mouthwash. Mm. And we're all done. Love how fresh my teeth feel after and how much whiter it gets. So if you wanna try out the Luminex whitening products, you can click the link in my description and get 20% off your purchase. So yeah, definitely go check it out. So I have quite a few things I wanna get done today. So this weekend, me and Anto are going to a wedding. So I wanna go get my nails done, also go get a pedicure and my eyebrows done. So we have a little beauty maintenance day. And then I just got my car back from the shop. There were so many things wrong with my car, but everything's fine now. So I wanna go take it to get a car wash. I also have to go to CVS to pick up a prescription. So basically just a bunch of busy errands today. So we're probably gonna be out and about for a bit. I'm gonna actually right now make an iced matcha because um, I don't really drink coffee anymore just for like health reasons. I've talked about how I was having gallbladder problems. Not really so much anymore actually. Gallbladder pain is like gone. 
but I'm just trying to take preventative measures and not eat anything that would um, kind of disrupt it. So I feel like coffee is like one of those irritants for my gallbladder. So I just cut back on coffee, not just because of my gallbladder, but also just, you know, coffee is great and all, but too much coffee is really not the best for you. So I started off by scaling back my coffee and having it maybe like only once every other day rather than every single day. But now I'm just completely wanting to cut off coffee, not forever obviously, but like just for the time being, maybe for, I don't know, a few weeks. And honestly, I've felt a lot better. As ironic as it is, I feel like I have more energy now than I did when I drank coffee because there's not that midday crash that comes like after you drink coffee and I feel less anxious. I don't know, I just feel a lot more relaxed and I feel like my body really is going through a cleanse, not really a cleanse, but I feel like it needed a break from coffee. And I don't know if I talked about this already on the vlog, but I've also cut back on drinking alcohol, not giving it up completely, um, but it's been about a month since I've had any type of drink, which um, is good for me. I usually have at least one drink every weekend, but even a glass of wine with dinner, I don't do that anymore. So just cutting back on coffee and alcohol, I feel like it's really made a difference with my health mentally and physically. And I feel like maybe I talked about it in the past few vlogs where I'm like cooking a lot and eating more healthy foods and eating cleaner and, you know, taking more supplements and stuff. Um, I'm just trying so hard to take care of my body from the inside. So with that being said, I have been making matchas every morning now for the past week. I can't drink it for 30 minutes though because I just did my teeth stuff. So I'm gonna bring it with me to go when I go on my errands. So the matcha I use is from Peak Pike. They come in these little individual packets and I have water boiling right now. All right, so we're gonna just add some hot water to it. And then I'm gonna take my frother and we're gonna just froth it, trying not to be too hard so that it doesn't spill. I usually do this in a bowl, but um, all the bowls that I use for my matcha are dirty in the dishwasher. Oh my God, this is a mess, hot mess. I have my ice in a cup. I'm gonna use this mug, but I'm just using a clear mug for now, or a clear cup just so I can show you guys or so you can see what it'll look like. But I'm using oat milk from Trader Joe's. I love their oat milk and I just love oat milk in general with matchas. That's always what I get at Starbucks when I get my matchas. And then I'm also gonna add a couple drops of the Stevia sweetener. I've tried different things for sweeteners. Like I've tried vanilla, I've tried honey, and I really like Stevia the best. Okay, now we're gonna pour our matcha over. This is the best part. Oh my God, look at that, beautiful. Normally I would mix it with my straw, but I'm gonna be drinking it out of a mug, so. I'll just use my frother to mix it. Perfect, okay. I'm gonna put it into my little travel mug now. That's it. God, every time I wear caps, I feel like I look so weird. My head is shaped very weird. But anyway, here's the OTD. We got on my Nike baseball cap. I have on this um, flannel shacket from H&M and then I have on my cropped tee and matching sweatpants from Cuts Clothing. And then I have my Uggs. I wear these shoes literally every day. They're getting their use. Um, I'm getting my money's worth from them. So yeah, we got my, oh, and my Pauline bag. That's pretty much like my everyday bag. So I am going to my nail appointment first. I literally just called, they have an opening. So we're gonna do nails and pedicure first and then I'll go do my other errands so it's a beautiful day and oh my god look at that the leaves are changing colors i literally just took a photo right in front of that tree if you follow me on instagram you probably saw it but i saw that red tree and i was like oh my god i have to take a photo in front of it i'm i'm very cringy like that so it's a beautiful day it's like 50 degrees so i want it to be cozy and comfy and still cute so we are gonna head out my nails done I decided to go with black this time because you know it's spooky season and I really do love black nails but I only get black nails in the fall and the winter time so it's been like a year since I've had black nails and then I also got black pedicure and yeah so I was also gonna get my eyebrows done there I was gonna get them waxed but I don't really like getting them waxed because I feel like they don't do 
a good job. So I texted my threading lady and I think she's all booked today. So I'm going to probably just go to her tomorrow. And yeah, right now I'm at CVS. I'm going to pick up my prescription and then I'm going to get a car wash. I think it might. Oh, I should check the weather because I feel like it's going to rain. It's like kind of cloudy. Oh, it's not. It's just going to be very overcast. So yeah, we're going to just do that. And then I think that's it. And then I'll go home. I have a lot of work to do um, before we leave for the wedding. We're only going for one day. But every time I like am out like all day um, or just have something going on, we are going to stay overnight. So we're just going to stay one night. Um, but anytime something like that comes up, I want to make sure I like get all my work done. And it's also during the week. The wedding is on a Friday. So that would normally be like a work day for me. So um, I need to edit two videos tonight and I need to email like a ton of brands back. I've been so bad at emails. That's why I'm like considering getting a management, like signing with a management agency soon, just because it's so much workload to like not only film the content and like plan out my content schedule, but also like replying to brands and making sure I'm sticking to deadlines because there's times when I'm missing deadlines and turning things in late and it's just because it's just too much and I can't keep it all like on track so yeah I feel like soon I might want to sign with like a management agency so yeah I got a lot of busy work to do today I need to eat lunch um it's like two o'clock right now I'm starving so hopefully this doesn't take too long but this line is this line is moving slow I'm in the drive through for CVS so I'm going to do all this stuff I'll check in with you guys when I get home got home I stopped by Whole Foods also because I really had a craving for fish so I went to Whole Foods and picked up some fresh fish and then I also just got a bunch of random groceries that I didn't realize I needed but I'll do a little mini grocery haul so I got some strawberries strawberries why did I say like that strawberries strawberries and then I got some broccoli sprouts to put on my avocado toast and we got bananas bell pepper this is gonna be boring because all I get now is vegetables and fruit and then I got some fresh parsley for the um, fish, also lemon. I want to do like a garlic lemon situation with the fish. And then I got asparagus, white onion, garlic, this big fat zucchini. I've never seen a zucchini this fat before. Literally, it's organic. So I thought it would be smaller than the non-organic ones, but I don't know. And then I got some oatmeal. I wanted to get some organic oatmeal i've been super into oatmeal lately like that's literally all i eat for breakfast when it's not eggs so i switch off between eggs and oatmeal now for breakfast so i got this one i've never tried it but i'm trying to get all organic things now so all of the vegetables and fruits that i got are organic as is this oatmeal we got some organic chicken breast and we got some free range organic eggs and then the fish I got is tilapia. They're kind of skinny. I wanted to get two fillets. Um, hopefully that's enough, but we'll see. And then I got two more of these probiotic drinks that I've really been enjoying. It's called Sunny Culture, I believe is the brand. And um, it's not really kombucha. I thought it was kombucha, but it's not as like acidic as regular kombucha feels. This kind of just tastes like a regular juice and I'm really trying to find uh, probiotic drinks that don't have so much sugar. It's really hard to find probiotic or any kind of kombucha drinks that have zero sugar. Um, but this one only has six sugar and it's not like added sugar. It says no sugar added post fermentation. So I thought that was okay. But yeah, I've gotten these before and they're really good. This flavor is so good. The elderberry one and then this one is ginger. So I've been really liking this brand, that drink. And then lastly, I just needed to pick up some more spices. I got basil and onion powder. So I'm gonna quickly put this away. I am starving. It's literally three, it's almost four. I'm gonna eat some leftovers for lunch, but let me put this away first. For lunch, I am having my leftover um, chicken lettuce wraps, like the P.F. Chang's ones. So, so good. I made this last night and I actually showed this in the vlog. I think it was the vlog before this one, but it's so good. I highly recommend. Go check out that vlog. Because I have the recipe linked there. But I'm going to eat this for lunch. I was dreaming about this all day. 
like the whole day I was out, I was just thinking about this stuff. It's that good. Oh, so good. I have some packages that I need to open, so I figured I'd open them on the vlog. One of them I'm very excited about, so let me just open this one first. This is an Amazon package. Um, it's two things in here. One of them is not that exciting. I got some curtain hooks for the new curtains that I got. I'm going to hang some um, curtains in the living room. I know I used to have them here and I took them off, but I ordered new ones from Ikea. I got some white ones. And I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I got some um, two new curtain rods. And I plan on putting curtains not only on that window above the sofa, also this like sliding Julia balcony. I'm thinking that curtains along the whole thing of the living room. I'll just show you guys. So yeah, I want to do curtains here. That's where I used to have curtains. And then also I'm thinking I want to try to see how curtains would look on this Juliet balcony. I know it's kind of hard to see because of the lighting, but... That's the plan. Hopefully that looks good. Um, I already got the curtain rod from Target. Yeah, the curtains are on the way. And just got the curtain rings. It comes with a hundred of them because I wasn't sure how many I would need, but I got a black curtain rod too. So I kind of want to do like black and white, but this is what they look like. So you just clip them onto the curtain like this and you hang them up. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I don't know. We'll see how that turns out. I hope it looks good. Especially with this Juliet balcony, I'm not really sure about that, but I just kind of wanted to go for like an all kind of curtain walled look and then I'm going to double it up this time. Instead of just having two curtain like panels on each window, I'm going to do four. So two and two on each side, if that makes sense. So I guess in the next vlog, I'm going to, um, we're going to hang up the curtains. So yeah, you can look out for that in the next vlog. So that's the first thing I got in this Amazon package. And the next thing is what I'm most excited about. It's a book. And I haven't read in so long. I've been so bad at reading. But I was especially excited for this book because this is a sequel or a prequel. I think it's the prequel of one of my favorite books. Probably the number one most popular book on the internet. I'm sure a lot of you guys have read it. But it's it starts with us. And the book, It Ends With Us, is the book I'm talking about. Like That's very popular. I read it. Um, a few months ago and it was so good. It completely tore my heart apart. I think I cried so many times when I read that book. It was so just, it was just such an emotional roller coaster. It's probably the best way to describe that book. This just got released, I think a few days ago and I had to order it. I am currently in the middle of reading two other books. I'm so bad at reading, but I'm gonna pause on those because I really need to read this. I need to read this. That's all I got uh, from Amazon. And then I also got a package from Dr. Dennis Gross, PR package, love their skincare. So let's see what is in here. We have some vitamin C products, I believe, two products. I always love their packaging. Um, this is the 15% vitamin C bright serum. Vitamin C serums is probably like one of my top five favorite skincare products because I just love looking very glowy and radiant and bright. And that's what that does. Oil-free radiant moisturizer. So a moisturizer and a serum. Thank you, Dr. Dennis Gross. And then this one, this package, I'm not sure what this is. What is this? What the heck is this? Oh my god, I'm so confused. What is this? I'm very concerned about what this is. Dude, what? <gasps> what? Excuse me? What is this? Oh, oh my god. Okay, I, re I, know, I remember what this is. Okay, so yeah, this is a VR package. There's two lipsticks in here. This is from, obviously, YSL. Hashtag enter the bold. Oh my God, look at this packaging. I've never received PR from YSL before. One of my favorite luxury brands. Oh my God, wait, hold on. No, we just need to appreciate the packaging first. Can we just, can we just look at this packaging? Oh my God. Here's the shade. It's like a, kind of like a rosy, a rosy pink. Ooh, wow, the pigmentation is really nice. It goes on so smooth. It almost looks like it's very moisturizing too. Okay, this one, ooh, this is like a true red color. There's that swatch. Oh my God, I'm, I'm obsessed. I'm just so obsessed with the packaging. First, I thought it was a perfume because it kind of looks like it from the outside. So I was trying to think in my head, I was like, when did I order perfume? Um, but that is so cute. Thank you very much, YSL. This is from Clarins and it is the Total 
Eye Lift Eye Cream. I love this product. I actually have a couple of these, so maybe I'll add this to my giveaway pile because I plan on doing another giveaway during Vlogmas, during Christmas time. And this time I'm gonna do the giveaway on my YouTube because last time I did a huge skincare giveaway on my Instagram and I know a lot of you aren't on Instagram and don't have one. So my next giveaway will definitely, definitely be on YouTube for all of you guys. And yeah, I'm very excited for that. So I'm gonna have to add that too the giveaway pile. So look out for that during Vlogmas. But that's all that I have to show for you guys. So since I got started talking about the curtains in the living room, I figured I'd give you guys some updates with my home upgrading, upgrading the furniture and the decor, because I do have quite a few new updates. So um, I don't know if I said this or not, but I did buy a new couch and it's actually gonna be coming in about a month. So I ordered it a month ago and I just got an update a few days ago saying it's gonna leave the warehouse in two weeks and that I should get it in like four to five weeks. So hopefully that's right. Um, and if that is right, we'll have a new couch in November. The other update is I did get a new rug. I'm actually doing a partnership with a company for that rug, so I'm very excited about that. And that should actually come soon. So yes, got the new rug, got the new couch. I also talked about the curtains. We're gonna get new tapestry. And the other big update is I got a new TV stand and it's actually here already, but I didn't put it together yet. This is the current TV stand. As you can tell, that's kind of broken. And I don't know if you can see, but there's a piece of tape that's holding it together because it would just completely fall off. It's completely broken. I tried so many ways, so many times to fix it and put it back on. Um, it's just such an inconvenience. And I just kind of wanted to update the TV stand anyway in the first place before that even broke. So when that broke, that was just like a sign to me that it's time for a new one. Um, this one is from Ikea. It really did serve its purpose and it was a good tv stand for three years but i want a new one for a few reasons mainly because it's broken but also i wanted a new one that would be a little bit taller to cover those plugs that always bothered me that uh those were showing um so that's one of the things and then the other thing is i wanted a tv stand that had no openings i want to completely shut with doors because i don't like looking at this opening and i don't like trying to figure out how I should decorate it, but then I can decorate it because I need to um, have the TV receiver there. So I always wanted to hide that receiver. So the TV stand that I got, it has doors like completely covering. There is no openings you cannot see. So that's the biggest thing that I really wanted. And I also wanted a black one because the couch that I'm gonna get, or the couch that I did get already, it's a white couch. And the rug that I got, it's like a kind of bone, like beige color. So I thought that was a lot of white going on. So I wanted to add more contrast and get a different color. So I got a black TV stand. I'm so excited to put it together. So it's actually here. It's actually in the front hallway. And there it is. Yeah, so it's a big thing. Um, it's from Wayfair. And Anto's dad is coming over this weekend to help us assemble it. So um, it's just gonna stay there for now. It is so, so, so heavy. Um, it was outside in the hallway and we had to like, use so much force to bring it in me and Otto literally barely could lift it ourselves so um yeah his dad's coming over to help us assemble that but it's gonna be so cute I'm so excited to replace this this hot mess um and also I'm gonna literally not have any decor on top of the new tv stand this right here the way the living room looks right now I hate it so much I have never hated my living room as much as I do now so I'm just so excited for everything to come in because I can't stand looking at this raggedy couch and um, I haven't gotten a new coffee table yet. I'm still deciding which one I wanna get, but what I really wanna get is either a circle or a square coffee table because since this space is so small, um, and since we're getting that humongous couch that's coming in, I'm sure that couch is gonna be really big, but I did measure and it will fit just fine. It's actually the same length as this couch, um, but it is an L and I think it'll just be a little bit more out than what it is right now. I haven't decided if I wanted to put the L part here to kind of create like a separation between the kitchen in the living room or if I wanted to put the L against that wall so it can be like more open over here and then yeah I want to get a smaller coffee table I'm probably gonna get a circle one just because there's so many edges already we got like the square coffee or the square TV stand the new one that I got the couch is square the rug will be square so there's just a lot of corners and points I want like a round table to kind of soften the room a little bit and I found one on world market that I really, really love. I'm just holding off on buying it because I really like to think about my big furniture purchases before I make them. So that's the update. I think I covered everything. 
that lamp is gonna go um, because once the new couch is here, there probably won't be room in that corner. I'm gonna move that to the, um, probably to the bedroom. I'm not gonna get rid of it because it's a nice lamp, but I might spray paint it black um, and move it somewhere else. And this chair is also going to go into the office. I'm going to get rid of the chair that's currently in there because it's actually broken. It's such a cheap chair. I should have never gotten it from Amazon. So that's gonna go. I'm gonna move this little LED light into that office too. Basically, I'm gonna clear all this out. This is the most cluttered and gross and unorganized it's ever looked. I'm also throwing those away. I made those only a few months ago, but now that I'm looking at it, like it doesn't look good. Like there's no, it looks like a piece of paper on the wall. And I'm going to try to find a new wall art at Home Goods or somewhere that is like this, because since this wall is literally like this, I need to have an artwork that is like this and not like this. Sorry, I don't know the words to explain it, but. That's kind of where I'm at right now with the decor. I also already started shopping for Christmas decor. I ordered some garlands, I ordered some stockings. I wanna like make the TV stand here, kind of like the mantle for like where I hang the stockings cause it'll be a lot taller than this one. Not a lot taller, it'll probably be like seven inches taller. I think were the measurements. So like I can, you know, put the stockings there and oh my God, I just can't wait for Christmas. I am so, ready for Christmas and I'm prepping now. I'm prepping everything now. I'm prepping my gift guides, my Vlogmas content, my Christmas decor. I'm literally doing all that now because I'm so excited because I want to be prepared and put out the best content I can for you guys. Um, so yeah, that's the update with the home decor. the evening I actually had a shower again because I just realized I need to wash my hair it's been about seven days since I last washed my hair and since we're going to a wedding I like to wash my hair like a couple days before I have an event you know like that second day third day hair is like when you can style it really good so yeah I showered changed and um, now I'm making dinner I just prepped the fish it's in the oven right now I'm making white fish with lemon and organic garlic butter on top. I found this recipe online. I'm just like finding all my recipes online now, so I'll link all the recipes that I ever cook. It already smells so good, so I'm really excited to eat. So I'm gonna eat the fish with arugula. I'm gonna put it like on a bed of arugula. I thought that would be really good. I was gonna eat green beans with it, but um, I just feel like arugula would taste so much better. Hey guys, here's dinner. I already tasted the fish. I, I tasted uh, the other one. It tastes very good. So I'm going to eat my dinner. Again, I'll link this recipe in my description if you want to try it out. I highly recommend because it was delicious from the one bite that I had. Oh my God, my hair looks so dark in this lighting. I actually love it. I use the IGK color mask that I showed in my Amazon favorites video. I've been loving it. But anyway, I am in bed. It's kind of like almost nighttime. It's like seven o'clock. I have some work to do, some emails to, excuse me, to answer. And then I'm gonna start packing for the weekend trip. So I think I'm just gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you as always so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.